Derek, 10 years ago, I was spending my nights journaling about how I couldn't wait to meet you. I was wishing for you, but confident you would never happen. But here we are, more incredible than I could have ever dreamed of. Everything that I wanted and never knew that I needed. There aren't many people out there who are together for this long and still get butterflies. Not everyone will know the beauty of having a home that travels with them everywhere. <laughs> and the best thing about us? We know it'll always be this way. The person that you have been, the person that you'll become, is my favorite person in the world. You're the only person whose eyes I can look into forever. I adore your gentle, compassionate demeanor. You balance out my fiery personality. But I think we work together so well, not because we strive to complete ourselves, we strive to complete each other. I vow to continue this endeavor for the rest of my life. There's no one else I would rather do this with. But picture us when we are old. Picture us in our rocking chairs and still so happy. That's where our love for each other's souls will take us. We've grown and changed so much as individuals since the first time we met. All the while, your beautiful sense of humor, your loving personality, and your passion for all things that are true and meaningful has never changed. I knew from the first moments of our young relationship together that we had something beautifully unique. I never thought it was possible to love another person as much as I have fallen in love with you. I promise I'll be here for you forever. Through the good times and the hard times, I'm yours. I'll never be unfaithful. You have me until the end of time. I love you. With respect and love, your fiance. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God and with your presence as witnesses to join together this man and this woman, Derek and Evan, in holy matrimony which is an honorable estate instituted of God and signifying to all the world the mystical union that exists between Jesus Christ and His Church. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in fear of God. Would you please stand? I dare to make you heaven wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better and for worse, for richer and for poor, for richer and for poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, till death do us part, for as much as Derek and Evan have consented together in holy wedlock, and witness the same before God and His company, and thereto have pledged their faith to each other by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God hath joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. He was just so kind and loving and sensitive to your needs and I knew he would always protect you till the day he died. I remember a story you told me one time <laughs> about um, when you were visiting Derek's parents and they kind of lived at the bottom of the Arbuckle Mountains and it's kind of like out in the country and I remember you were driving his red truck and um, there was a rattlesnake crossing the road. He got out and he took his tennis racket and he hacked it to death and then he cut off the tail and gave the rattle to her as a token of his love. And, and I, I knew that he would always protect you in any circumstance. That was like 
the pivotal moment of reassurance that he would always be there for you, no matter what. And I think you guys are so beautiful. You're going to have a beautiful life together. Just think 50 years from now on this day, you're going to be with kids and grandkids, and it's going to be so beautiful, and I can't wait to meet all of them because you're really starting a family today. So I love you guys so much. You would just have a timeless, endless love, and it's going to be forever. So I love you guys. God has given you to me as a gift. You are undoubtedly no coincidence, and I am undeserving of your patience. I truly believe that you are his gift to me for enduring all of my losses. <laughs> you are his way of showing me hope after darkness. If my dad were here today, If my dad were here today, he would give you a firm handshake and tell you to take care of me. My mom would tear up. She would laugh and give you a kiss on the cheek. I know that you will always love me like they would want, and I'll do the same for you.